Hey guys, I'm Anna Stefan Trail and Kale, and this is my The North Face Summit Vective Pro trail running shoe review. That was a bit of a mouthful, so throughout the rest of this review, I'm just going to call this the Vective Pro. I was really excited to get hold of the Vective Pro from the North Face because I saw all the success that the athletes were having at the UTMB in Chamonix this year, most particularly in the 100 kilometer race where athletes were coming in the top three all over the place. It was brilliant to see. Um, excellent to see the success of the North Face coming back again. So I was really excited to get hold of these. So when the North Face offered to send me a pair, I jumped at the opportunity. Really quickly then, I mean, what is the Summit Vective Pro from the North Face? I mean, what kind of shoe is it? Well, it's very much a trail racing shoe. So it does have a carbon fiber plate running through the midsole. Um, and that's actually in a rocker style geometry, um, which basically gives you more efficiency when you're running. And the carbon fiber plate stores energy as you flex your toes and your feet and then releases it as you toe off on your running stride. So that's how a carbon fiber plate works. And we're starting to see them more and more in trail running shoes, which is really exciting to see. The format of this review then is essentially that I'm gonna be talking about the fit first, then I'm gonna go over the key features that I really like about these running shoes and how they actually benefit your performance on the trails. Then I'm gonna go over some features that aren't so good and ways in which I would improve this shoe for the next version um, next season. Then I'm gonna quickly go over who I think these are best for and finally whether they're worth your money. Starting with the fit then. The Summit Vective Pro does fit true to size in length. Now it is slightly wider than average in the toe box. So I'd say if you have average to wide toes, then uh, these will fit you really nicely in a toe box. There's plenty of room for your toes to splay as you take off um, on your running stride. Uh, so I really like that, nice space in there. Now I would say it's a little bit narrow in the midfoot area around here. That's mostly here where the upper kind of contacts the middle of your foot. Um, medium to narrow there. If you're training for a race, whether that's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon, or even a trail ultra marathon, definitely go to Trail and Kale, sign up to our newsletter, and then you'll get access to our free training plans where we can get you race ready in no time. And we really stand behind our training plans. I go out and test them myself to ensure that you don't get injured whilst you're training for your race of choice. In our newsletter, you'll also receive our latest gear reviews, including lots of running shoes and also plenty of running tips to keep you enjoying running. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and share it with a friend if you think they'll enjoy it too. And subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. Really quickly then, some key statistics of this shoe. They weigh 9.7 ounces or 275 grams and they have a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. They're very much responsive in their cushioning. So they're quite firm. You do feel the trail underneath, but also there is plenty of stack height there to give you a little bit of cushioning too. So they will help you go the distance and they should feel comfortable for that. And finally, the price, they're $250. So it's very much a premium running shoe. The first feature that I really like about the Vective Pro then is the outsole. The rubber compound is super sticky, super grippy, and I felt like I had really good traction going downhill, but most noticeably going uphill actually. And the lugs here really do claw into the trails. Um, and because it's got that rocker, um, carbon fiber plate going through it. I really feel efficient going uphill quickly. Um, they just work really well for uphill climbs. Second feature that I really like is in the midsole. Um, like I said, it's very responsive. It's got that carbon fiber plate in there, which gives you great energy return, um, a responsive ride, and just, it makes you feel like you're gliding over the trails. Like literally, this thing is fast. Um, but it does come with some caveats, which I'm going to go into in a little bit. Um, but overall, I do really like how the cushioning and the cushioning in the foam really feels the stack height and the drop. It just feels really nice to me. It feels very race ready. And yeah, I really like that. It does also have what the North Face are calling stability wings. That's a new running shoe term for me. Um, that's these things here, which are carbon fiber. Um, 
wings, if you will. So they are actually attached to the carbon fiber plate, which goes into the midsole. They, these kind of wrap around on the edge of the carbon fiber plate that goes into the shoe. Um, it does create extra stability, um, less lateral roll in your forefoot, but it comes with a problem. Again, I'm gonna go into that in a second. The third feature that I really like is the upper material. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like this quite as much. Uh, it's actually made of some kind of plastic material, but you can see the weave is just super breathable. If I put my hand in here, you know, you can obviously see through there. That's how breathable it is. Um, it's also very flexible as well. So there's no real popping or cracking when you bend this. Um, so the shoe remains flexible, even though it's this plastic material, and I believe that's how the weave works. Um, one thing to note though, is it isn't stretchy. There's no stretch in this plastic material. Um, not sure how much of a problem that is. I haven't noticed it to be one so far anyway. My feet tend to run fairly warm when I'm running, so I like to push it really hard. Um, so having a breathable upper like this on a race ready shoe is pretty essential to me. And yeah, I really like what they've done with the material. It's innovative and it works. And finally, another feature that I like is on the upper and it's this padded section on the inside of the shoes. Um, you can see the kind of zoned padding areas, which lock and hold your heel in place. That works fairly well as well. So nice little feature. Okay, let's move on to the dark side of the upper. Some of the upper features that I don't really like and there's a lot of room for improvement there, which I have a, a feeling they are implementing in the new version, looking at some of the shoes that they were wearing at UTMB, which is the next season's version of this shoe. It looks like they might have actually fixed some of these issues. The first one is a heel counter, shoots straight up um, and it's actually quite high. So an easy fix for me for this would be to articulate it backwards a little bit so that it doesn't dig into the back of your heel when you're running. Uh, this is a little bit of a pressure point for me uh, when I'm running, uh, unfortunately, but it's just such an easy fix. All they would need to do is tilt it backwards um, and that would feel much better. Second issue I've got is the tongue. So there's no loop in the tongue, uh, which the laces can go through, um, essentially holding the tongue up. So there's none of that. So the tongue can potentially slip down and it's a short tongue in itself. So I did notice the tongue slipping down. So again, an easy fix in the next version, put a loop on there and hold the tongue in place. Another problem with the tongue being so short is when I tried using this top loophole here, the laces are really, really close to coming over the top of the tongue here when you loop them through this hole. Um, and one might have actually come off and come onto the top of my foot there. So if you do need to use that top placing hole to secure your shoes um, generally, then you're probably not gonna be, use, be able to use that hole on these shoes, unfortunately. Now I'm coming back to the stability wings here. And this is a feature that I really don't like about the Summit Vective Pro, unfortunately. I like the idea, I like the science behind it, but to be honest, it doesn't work because I'm feeling pressure points on the inside of the shoe um, on this side. So the ball of my foot, that's the inside of the shoe um, or my, inside of my foot. Um, and I was wondering why the heck I was feeling like I was starting to get a blister in that area. And I did some reading. Some other people have been experiencing that issue too, where your foot can rub on it because it's a lot more solid uh, than the midsole here. And I read some people are actually cutting this out of the shoe. My God, this is a $250 shoe. I'm not gonna be cutting it up to make it perform better. I'd expect it to be near perfect, right out of the box, ready for me to race in. So this to me is a bit of a design oversight. I feel like it hasn't been tested properly by the North Face, unfortunately. So I'm really hoping that they fix 
this stability wing thingy majiggy in the next version. Maybe they can just extend it out further so that it's not affecting the inside of a shoe at all. Um, I don't know, not really for me to figure out because <laughs> I'm not getting employed by them, but you know, I'm hoping they're gonna fix that next time. Who are the North Face Summit Vective Pro trail running shoes for then? Well, probably someone with deep pockets and a very high pain threshold. I joke, they're really not that bad. There are a few pain points, a few issues that need ironing out, some tweaks being made on the next version. Um, but you know, if you are someone who wants to race hard, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of comfort um, so that you get the speed, then the Vective Pro might be worth you trying out. Um, for the average runner or trail runner who enjoys racing but's not really willing to sacrifice comfort as well um, as all out speed, then I can't really recommend these shoes. Um, in general, I can't recommend them because for $250, I'd expect it to be very much a close to perfect trail running shoe. Um, and it's just not quite there yet for me. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've run in the Vective Pro before. Have you experienced the same issues that I experienced? Um, maybe you really love them. I'd love to get your insights and your thoughts about these shoes. So let's get the conversation started. Drop a comment down below. Well, that's it for me. I really hope you enjoyed this The North Face Summit Vective Pro review. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting shoe. I'm really excited about the next release. Um, it's not going to be for everyone by any means. So yeah, well, I hope this review helped you decide whether it's maybe worth trying for you or not. Um, either way, please give this video a like, share it with a friend and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. See you next time.